so let's get messages from the great grandmother from the maternal side what is it that the messages from the great grandmother from the maternal side have to say guys this reading will be general for you hence take whatever that resonate with your life journey and leave the rest if it does not resonate with you never force messages unto yourself so let's go spread can you speak for the collective please and thank you so we're having the king of pentacles all right for some of you your great grandfather could be saying you are not paying much attention here all right yeah we're having the queen and the king of pentacles these people are together i feel like you need to communicate with them in that sense or the gift that you have comes from these people the two of them all right there's um your great grandmother and grandfather from the paternal side and these people had everything that they they needed in life okay they were more like a wealthy family or something like that with the wheels of fortune at the bottom of the deck they had everything guys okay they had everything pentacles is all about money it's all about finances so they have they actually had everything during their time and they were actually together and they definitely did get along very well all right so this is what is coming out as far as your great grandmother from the paternal side is concerned so what is it that they are saying here or have to say to you so they're gifting you something all right they're giving gifting you something here guys okay so for some of the gifts that you have maybe you, you could have been in a confusion as to the gifts that you possess and where they come from they come from a pair of which is the grandmother you know the great grandmother from the paternal and the great grand the great grandfather okay so they are the ones that are literally giving you a gift here okay whatever gift that you possess comes from them so let's try and clarify this here guys or what type of gift is this okay so can you speak more for the collective please and thank you all right so we're having the moon here you working with water you being uh, an emotional healer healing people who are more emotionally broken guys is part of your destiny here okay more like a therapist type of energy that's the type of um, healing that you have guys you do have the heat that the you know the energy to heal people by just touching them you know that type of energy for some of you this great grand mother had a cat a black cat or something like that it can be that you do have cats that can like visit you sometimes or you do have a cat all right something like that mm. whatever this is guys okay so both of them were more like a teacher for some of you they had a church these people okay they own a church of some sort okay whoever these people are all right hence that's why you have the gift to heal using water your hands also like a, a reiki healer for some of you could be a reiki healer and you are not aware of you heal with energy your energy is more healing all right and your even when you speak to someone they kind of like feel healed you don't necessarily need medicine you are this type of person who don't necessarily uh, need medicine to heal okay yeah something like that you just have to find balance as far as this type of gift is concerned okay guys because there's a sense of a lack of balance here as far as this energy is concerned or you don't necessarily understand this type of gift that you are having it has everything to do with the water here all right it has everything to do with water so you, i feel like they want you to kind of like master this type of energy because for some of you also the grandmother is coming through to help you in this in this case okay so more like a feminine type of energy you are blind you, you can't see clear as far as the spirit that you possess guys okay yeah something like that you can't necessarily see clear there's something that is kind of like blinding you that's the influence or there could be something that works against you in that sense because the moon also is something 
more that is hidden like an enemy type of energy look at this at the bottom of the deck we're having the ten of swords okay or it can simply be the surrounding that you live in all right so let's see the other influence as far as yeah more like you do have people who don't necessarily want to see you shine as far as this gift is concerned they literally trying to trap you maybe the, by what they say or who they are literally telling you as in like you are this you are that instead but you are not okay you know exactly who you are and they literally want to make you doubt your gift so that you don't move because this is more like you being stuck spiritually not being able to move as in like or understand the type of healing that you carry it's more of a reiki healer you use energy and for some you're also getting more like crystals that you should use um this is a feminine energy or more over a balanced energy like the yin and the yang type of energy that you have guys okay two of swords two is something that comes with a pair it, it, it is more balanced you don't necessarily to feel shaky shaky about it or or, or or keep this gift more over in a bag banner okay because this is yours this is your gift you're supposed to shine using this gift you do have people who are literally fighting you as far as this gift is concerned guys or this is you fighting yourself because this is on top it's more like you fighting i feel like you need to, to stop fighting this for some of you, this could be you fighting this gift from coming out. You could be suppressing yourself. You could be keeping yourself stuck for some of you. That's just that, okay? You could be keeping yourself stuck, all right? Maybe you don't necessarily believe more in yourself like that, as in like you can actually do it. But then I feel like your guys are saying you can do it because you have our back, okay? We are here to kind of like protect you and guide you, all right? It is not just the great-grandmother coming in because the great-grandfather came in and the great, the grandmother also, the person that gave birth to your, is it the mother? Did I say the, the paternal or maternal? All right. Anywho, so let's dive in here and see. All right more messages from this great grandmother what what is it okay so i guess uh i think it was the great grandfather ne? the great the great grandmother from the paternal right am i right all right so let's see i can't remember so let's see tell me more spirit as far as the gifts that the collective they do possess can you tell me more please and thank you water water let go of whatever that is that you have been working on for some of you okay because you heal using water you are you could be a water child for some of you here so that's exactly where your power lies yeah that's exactly what your own spirit guides are saying this is where your power lies water the element of water you heal using the element of water you really need to trust your energy for some of you here whether you are masculine whether you are feminine i feel like you really need to ignite both the energies here to find balance here you know and be able to heal those that need healing from you let go of whatever that is holding you back as far as your gifts are concerned here we haven't sacrificed whatever it can be people places and things that are literally dragging you down as far as your gift is concerned here guys all right so let's get one more card for you here spirit tell me yeah you do have the support of your own spirit guys you're having the mountain here the mountain is where your own spirit guide has stood before this is a gift that they have inherited to you this is something that they have done before they also connect with the mountain okay there's also this feisty energy this is more like the baloji spirit or more like a inkanyamba they do have this connection with the inkanyamba with the thunderstorm all right in Kanyamba, as you can see guys okay so they do have a connection with that also the water all right so they want you to ignite your maternal and paternal side 
okay or the feminine and masculine energy blend them together so that you are able to kind of like heal um as far as your journey is concerned guys okay because this is part this is you this is just you that's exactly what will bring abundance to you here all right abundance that's exactly what we we have in because one is all about leadership one is all about uh for some of you i'm, I'm also getting that um i don't know because these people that i'm speaking of it can be that they had a church or something like that guys okay they want you to kind of like have something of your own or or or, or something like that okay I don't know what this is. I feel like we need to connect more with these people so that you get that type of light that you need as far as your journey is concerned. So that you find balance and move forward with grace and embrace this gift. Because for some of you, I feel like you have been putting this in a back banner or this is just a confusion caused by you not understanding exactly what type of gift do you actually possess. Or what, where does actually this, this gift comes from? Or who gifted you? You know, something like that. So moreover, I feel like this will definitely bring some type of clarity to someone here. If it does resonate with you, do give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, hit that notification bell and click all so that you get notified whenever i make a video guys from me to you guys that's all that i have for you for now i appreciate you so much love and light from me until then you take care bye